Welcome to another finance update. My name is Martin Bennett from The Loan Room. So today I'd love to come to you and answer five of the most popular questions we often get asked. The first one, um, how much can I borrow? Obviously an important question and a great question, especially if you're just embarking on your, your first property, getting into an investment property. The answer is not so straightforward, unfortunately. When we are often asked that question, it's really about what can you afford, not necessarily what can you borrow. Two very different things. You can go to one bank and they'll give you an extra $200,000 than the bank next door. So the real answer should be what can you afford, not what can you borrow. Question number two, what is the cheapest interest rate? Probably one of the most common questions, understandably. It comes down to your individual circumstances. How much are you gonna borrow? What do your financials look like? And again, of course, which lender? And in the current climate, very important, are you looking at an interest only loan or principal and interest? With interest rates so low, a question we're always bound to hear is, should I fix my home loan? The answer to that is yes and no, depending on your personal circumstances. Right now, we're seeing a lot of people choosing to fix, or at least fix a portion of their loan. They don't want to be hit by any surprises over the next few years if rates do decide to jump. It also can set them up strategically to help pay the mortgage off faster if they choose to have a little bit variable to give them the flexibility and then have the majority of their loan fixed. And this is a personal decision based on your life circumstances. Should I sell my home before I buy? Most people, definitely. When you sell your home before you buy, you have confidence, you have security in how much money you actually have as a deposit moving to that next property. If you do, however, really want to buy that next property first so you don't have to move twice and you have enough equity in your home, then definitely we can do a changeover loan, a relocation loan to assist you to get into that new property first. But again, most people out there in the current climate should definitely be looking to sell their home first. How long does a pre-approval last? Typically, a pre-approval will last for three months. That means by the time you're approved, you have three months to go and buy a property and that loan you've been approved for should still be relevant. In the current climate, however, with banks changing lending policies almost every other day, it's always wise before you go to auction or make an offer, call your mortgage broker, call your bank and confirm that everything is still valid. That way, when you make that offer, you won't get any surprises. If you'd like any further information, go to melbournepropertytalk.com.au.